All right, guys, bad news. Interest rates have fallen, and we were wrong. We were wrong. You are fake news. Okay, not really, okay? Interest rates did really fall, but uh, I think it's temporary. Let's get into the reason why. Uh, the affordability is just not there in our market. Um, I don't think it's in the market nationwide, but especially in the Boise market right now, we're seeing that that is not, um, that's not affordable. Get a lot of haters for saying this because real estate agents don't like me saying that the housing market is not affordable because of the interest rates. And I do think our home prices have to come down more in order for our market to, to start moving inventory again. If you're a veteran, we just want to thank you for your service. Um, I know we're a couple days late. Uh, we've been busy getting our new studio going, but if you're a veteran, thank you again for your service. So CPI reports came out and they were improved by 0.4% and it caused the markets to rally. And we're going to jump right into that. The CPI report came out at 7.7. .7. Here we go. <clears throat> right here. So um, at the end of October, they came out, it showed that it was 7.7% over the last 12 months, which was an um, improvement. And what we see right here, as we jump over to the Dow in the last five days, uh, when that report came out, the Dow actually jumped up almost a, um, a thousand, um, almost a thousand points. So 900 points um, in just one day of that CPI report coming out. On top of that, we had NASDAQ. And NASDAQ, you look here, um, close of the ninth, and then when that report came out, it jumped, um, what is that, another almost 600 points. Thing that we wanna talk about though is this treasury report. So on the five day treasury, uh, we're gonna jump back five days, give it a second. Right before that CPI report came out, <clears throat> the 10 year treasury was yielding at about 0.4, uh, 4.1%. And then when that, that new CPI report came out, that dropped down here to the 3.84. That was about a 30 basis point improvement. And what that had an effect of is, is that dropped our interest rates. So as of Thursday last week, uh, because Friday was Veterans Day, and Thursday, um, November 10th, once that CPI report came out, the treasury dropped 30 basis points, give or take. Nothing happened that whole Friday because Friday was the uh, Veterans Day holiday. And so we saw the treasury improve, which then correlates with our mortgage rates improving. Our mortgage rates improved. Uh, I was just talking to a lender. Interest rates right now for a 30-year conventional loan is roughly floating around 6.25. If we were to go to this Freddie Mac graph, you can see that Thursday, the average interest rate was 7.08%. And with that drop of almost 75 basis points, a little bit more than 75, it would be 80, 83 basis points, that improvement. I think it's going to create a little bit of a panic and a little bit of frenzy in our market. Um, I think maybe some buyers that were sitting on the sidelines hoping and praying that something's going to happen to the market might get off the bench and start looking at houses. But I think it's going to be short lived. Uh, the reason why I think it's going to be short lived is Jerome Powell. First thing, Jerome Powell came out on his press conference when they tightened the uh, interest rates and raised it again. He said that he would rather over tighten and print more money than not tighten enough and not get this inflation down. And a 7.7% inflation rate, He remember his goal is 2%. So we're almost 300% of more than what he wants to be. So we have quite a ways to adjust. And I don't think this uh, temporary relief in the interest rates is going to um, be sustained for a while. I mean, the, the, the Federal Reserve is going to meet again in December. And if people get in the spending frenzy, again, that's going to bump our, our inflation back up. But most importantly, we saw a little improvement. We still got a long ways to go. But I want to also jump in here and I want to show you the difference between what that 7.8% interest rate does to the 6.25, which the market is currently at. Right now, uh, I just jumped on this mortgage calculator app here. For the Bo greater Boise area, our median sales price is 561,000. So that's what I'm gonna base this off of. I know the national um, uh, median sales price is around that 360 mark, but I'm just gonna use the, the greater Boise Valley. We're looking at 561,000, a 30 year loan at 7.08%. Now this was back Wednesday, that's kind of what the interest rates were floating around. And you can see that the mortgage right here is $3,762 a month. And that's just your principal and interest. Um, property taxes, if I were to throw something in here, probably looking at $2,800 in property taxes. Again, it's property dependent. And uh, and then let's just call it $1,000 for your homeowner's insurance. That $1,000 and the $2,800, that m makes your monthly payment $4,000. 
$79. What does that mean? That means that 48, almost $50,000 a year is going towards your housing payment. I don't think that's sustainable. Now this small market rally, so let's drop this now to the 6.25 and see how that affects this, this payment. So the payment now just dropped from $3,766 uh, $3, to $3,454 um, with principal and interest. Uh, and then if you add in taxes and insurance, that jumps it up to $3,770. So what we can see here is that is about an 8% um, decrease in your monthly mortgage payment by having that 75 basis point improvement. I don't think this is sustainable one for our area, considering that our median household income is 69,000. If our median household income is 69,000 and our median sales price is 560,000 and our interest rates only dropped to 6.25, that means that the median household income still cannot buy the median household sales price in our area. I believe this is gonna be short-lived. This is gonna be maybe a short-lived rally, whether it be in the stock market, a short-lived rally if buyers get off the bench and start looking because the affordability is still way too high. Um, the affordability is just not there in our market. Um, I don't think it's in the market nationwide, but especially in the Boise market right now, we're seeing that, that is not, um, that's not affordable. I get a lot of haters for saying this because real estate agents don't like me saying that the housing market is not affordable because of the interest rates. And I do think our home prices have to come down more in order for our market to, to start moving inventory again. This is what it means to you. This is what it means to me. This is what it means to people. What it means to you is, is don't get caught up in the emotions of, oh my gosh, interest rates dropped. We gotta hurry up and move on a property unless it's a solid property. And I say that me and a partner, we looked at a property this weekend, we were considering buying, but we ended up passing on it because I just still don't feel this market is stable enough to jump on something um, as far as for investment purposes. The mortgage was gonna be way too high, rents aren't are going up and down fluctuating and the Airbnb market is doing the same thing. So we ended up passing on it. But if the perfect house does come along, I don't think it's bad to jump on it. If you can get it at the right price, it's affordable, but don't fall into the emotion of, oh my gosh, I gotta jump on a house now. Because we might see in 30 days, 45 days, we might see a jump in um, home prices because people jumped on this. But again, I think it's short-lived because Jerome Powell said his goal is 2%. And we're at 7.7, .7, which is 5.7 higher than what we need to be. Almost 300% higher than what we, we, we need to be. Don't get caught up in the emotions. Be smart, be patient, and get prepared. And if you're thinking about selling your house, Again, this is huge. If you're thinking about selling your house, you really need to consider right now our inventory is high. It's not moving as fast. So you don't want to overprice. You don't want to try to capture something that you could have captured two months ago. Instead, be smart when you list your house for the right price. Lastly, if you have an agent that's telling you you need to buy in this house, you need to buy in this market, you need to ask them this question. Are you buying in this market? Are you willing to put money into this housing market? And if their answer is no, I don't feel comfortable doing it, then they shouldn't be telling you to buy a house. And so just be wise on who you're choosing to help you buy a house. We want to know what you think about this. Do you think this market is going uh, is gonna to start creeping back up? Do you think this market is going to continue to go down? Are we just getting this little Santa Claus present from uh, the investors dropping the interest rates briefly? And then right after um, Christmas is over, they're going to shoot them back up? You know, we don't have crystal ball, but what are your thoughts? We want to know what you think. And if you have data that we, are, we aren't presenting here, please, uh, we'd love to, to know your thoughts.